Here's a great travel one. Again, you can just, very easy to move things around. And then here's a great one if you have kids. So again, to be able to take your iMovies and put, you know, as many of them as you want on a DVD, put your digital photographs on, burn a DVD and send it to anybody you want. But this, this is one of the most amazing things we've ever done, I think. I'd be very proud of it. So that's iDVD. Now, let's go on to iTunes. We all know iTunes. Uh, we've got a zillion users of iTunes. And again, you can rip your CDs and build your own personal digital music library right on your Mac. And uh, I've got about 215 songs right here. You can just scroll through the songs. You can find anything uh, in a second, like uh, here's a Moby song as an example. And you can make playlists out of them. Make your own playlist just by dragging music over here into playlists. It's pretty nice. We have visualization. We have all sorts of things in iTunes. And when you make the compilation you want, you can just push a button and burn your own CDs and play them anywhere in your portable CD players, your car, etc., etc. Listen to internet radio stations, whatever you want. So iTunes has been an unabashed hit. Lastly, uh, image capture, built right into Mac OS X. I don't even need to launch an app. All I need to do is take my digital camera, turn it on here, and uh, plug it in via USB. And image capture will automatically recognize the camera and launch, as you see. And it pops up and says, would you like me to download your pictures? I will put them into the pictures folder in Mac OS X. And some cameras hold audio and even movies, and we'll put those into the music and movies folder. So I say, yeah, go ahead and download, me, download my pictures. And there it is, automatically downloading them. It will automatically build thumbnails, put them in the pictures folder for me, and here's my pictures. So I can say, great, let me take a look at those. Let me select all of them. Preview opens. There's my pictures. So I plugged my camera in 30 seconds ago. I've already got thumbnails. I'm already sitting here looking at my pictures. Right? Pretty nice. So this is wonderful. Uh, and I can do anything I want with these pictures. But let me show you a few things, again, that we've built into the system. So I'm going to go uh, right over here. And uh, I will launch uh, preferences. Oops, let's get rid of this guy. Uh, and all I have to do is go to System Preferences, and I will pick Desktop. Now, this is where I set my desktop pattern, and Mac OS 10.1 has a really nice way to do it. I can just pick one of these and change my desktop pattern if I want to. Uh, but I can also point this at my Pictures folder, and all my thumbnails just show up there. And so I can just pick one, boom, and set my desktop pattern. Literally, a minute after I walk up to the system with my digital camera, I'm now looking at my favorite picture as my desktop pattern. You know, Pretty unbelievable. Let me set it back to the default here. And now let me go to Screensaver. With Screensaver, uh, everyone needs a Screensaver. You can just set it to Slideshow, and we will take all the pictures in your desktop or in your pictures folder, and we will use Quartz, our amazing graphics, and OpenGL, our amazing 3D graphics, to actually zoom into those pictures and cross-dissolve between them and make this incredible slideshow literally like a minute after you sat down and plugged your camera into uh, your Mac running Mac OS X. Pretty remarkable, and we think way ahead of anything anybody else is doing. So those are the four apps I wanted to show you. And uh, <coughs> we are executing on all this stuff today, nine months from announcing the strategy to having this stuff uh, basically shipping. iDVD2 will ship early uh, next month. Now, as we've been designing these apps, of course, we've been paying a lot of attention to the devices. We want it to work with all the coolest devices. And we have to learn everything about these devices to make our iApps work. So the iApps know all about the devices. But a thought occurred to us late last year that the devices don't know anything about the iApps. There's never been a device that's been built that can take advantage of all this amazing intelligence built into these apps running on a Mac. What if there was? What if somebody built a device 
that could take advantage of knowing all about those IAPs and get a level of integration that no one's ever achieved before. And we decided to do it. And the, the, the field that we decided to do it in, the choice we made, was music. Now, why music? Well, we love music. And it's always good to do something you love. More importantly, music's a part of everyone's life. Everyone. Music's been around forever. It will always be around. This is not a speculative market. And because it's a part of everyone's life, it's a very large target market all around the world. It knows no boundaries. But interestingly enough, in this whole new digital music revolution, there is no market leader. There are small companies like Creative and Sonic Blue, and then there's some large companies like Sony that haven't had a hit yet. They haven't found the recipe. No one has really found the recipe yet for digital music. And we think not only can we find the recipe, but we think the Apple brand is going to be fantastic because people trust the Apple brand to get their great digital electronics from. So let's look at portable music. Let's look at the landscape. The first thing, if you want to listen to music portably, you can go out and buy a CD, uh, CD player. Right? That's one way to go, about 15, 10 to 15 songs. Or you can buy a flash player. Go out and buy one of those. You can buy a MP3 CD player, or you can buy a hard disk-based jukebox player. These are the four choices for portable music right now. So let's take a look at each one of those. A CD player costs about $75, holds 10 to 15 songs on a CD. That's about $5 a song. You can go buy a flash player, pay about double that, about $150, holds the same 10 to 15 songs, or about $10 a song. You can go buy an MP3 CD player, and an MP3 CD 